What's up everybody, what's going on? I apologize for this bright light, but it's the sun. It's, the sun's going down, so maybe that bright light will go away soon. Anyways, I can't do nothing about the sun. I'm not God, so I'm sorry. Anyways, NXT, this is my NXT TV review for June 1st. 2016 pretty damn crazy damn crazy that uh, it's already June uh, summer's here I guess because it's been pretty warm here like 80 degrees every day anyways NXT kicked off the June 1st edition the right the revival I don't, I don't know why I almost messed that up. The Revival kicked off the show with a promo. They were talking about American Alpha, how they're going to basically win their titles back at NXT TakeOver The End. And then out comes Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano. Or Gar... I think it's Gargano. Johnny Gargano, whatever. Johnny Wrestling. You know who the guy is. Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny come out. They're talking trash. It was pretty good kickoff to the show. They're talking a lot of trash to the revival. It was good back and forth talking trash on the mic. And then a brawl starts. And of course a fight breaks out and they start brawling and fighting each other. And then uh, the revival leave the ring. Tommaso Ciampa or Johnny got on the mic and said, Where are you guys going? We're not done yet. Why don't you face us tonight? We're not finished. We want to face you tonight. So later on in the show, it's the revival against Champa and Johnny. Pretty damn good tag team is Tommaso Champa and Johnny Gargano. In my opinion, they're a great team. Maybe they could be future NXT tag champs sometime. Up next, we have a backstage interview with... I believe is Kathy Kelly interviewing Sinsuke Nakamura. Pretty good short interview from him. Up next, we had a NXT promo video for NXT Takeover the End. Pretty damn good promo video. Then we had Ty Dillinger, the first match of the night. Ty Dillinger, the perfect 10. 10, 10, 10. The guy's pretty damn awesome. Ty Dillinger, and he's pretty. He's pretty damn over also. Ty Dillinger, not a bad match. I enjoyed it. Ty Dillinger takes on Murphy of Blake and Murphy, of course. Alexa Bliss was not at ringside because we all know she left Blake and Murphy because they were losers. That's why she left them, and I don't think she's coming back to them. Anyways, Murphy had a first name. He has a first name. I, I didn't know this. I thought the guy's name was Murphy. But supposedly he had a first name. His name was Buddy. So Buddy Murphy taking on Ty Dillinger. As, as I said, it was not a bad match. Ty Dillinger gets the win. Good for him. I hope he continues to get pushed. Up next, we had Corey Graves, the commentator for NXT. Corey Graves sitting down doing a face-to-face -face interview with Samoa Joe, the NXT champion, and Finn Balor, his opponent, at TakeOver the End in a cage. This was a pretty good face-off interview. Joe said it made a lot of good points, but Finn Balor also made a lot of good points. Uh, J Balor said he was a face of NXT, or... Uh, something like that. Ballard says says that Joe didn't deserve. It's getting damn dark in here now. I'm gonna just put this computer light on me. Anyways, uh, Finn says Samoa Joe never deserved a title shot because he just came in and demanded he get a title shot. That he begged and cried to the office that he deserves. Uh, NXT title shot, and he got one at TakeOver London. Then he got one at TakeOver Dallas. 
where he got busted open and stupidly they kept stopping the match, which pissed me off. And then he got a title shot at a live event in Massachusetts and Samoa Joe shockingly won the championship at a house show. But it was damn uh, surprising and pretty shocking and it was good to do. It was exciting to have a title change at a house show, at a live event. If I was there, I would have been freaking out. But I'm sure the people in Massachusetts that were there were very excited to see a NXT championship title change at a live event. Because especially world titles, championships, basically never, never anymore change hands at live events or house shows. So, great face-off interview from Joe and Ballard. And Samoa Joe then says to Ballard that you've, or Corey Graves pointed out, you've never been in a cage match, have you, Finn Ballard? And he says, no, I haven't been in a cage match. That was pretty damn surprising. I, I did not know that. But good face-off interview to build the hype. For next week's cage match. Next week's takeover. The end. It's live on WWE Network in seven nights. It's live. I can't wait. It should be a damn good show. Up next we have a, had Elias Sampson. The jobber. Mid Carter. I don't care about the guy or his character. Elias Sampson. Take on Austin Aries, the greatest man that ever lived. I'm a big fan of Austin Aries. That man is not a jobber. Austin Aries, the match was it was decent. Austin Aries looked great in this match. He did a dive to the outside. After the match, of course, Austin Aries gets the win. After the match, he gets on the mic and says next week he's going to prove that he is greatness against Nakamura. Nakamura, Aries next week at TakeOver, the end. That's going to be damn good. So Aries, uh, I don't think he'll win against Nakamura, but who knows. Now the main event. But this wasn't the final segment, but this was the final match. So I guess it was a main event match. Main event tag team match. Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa. Taking on the Revival, Dash and Dawson. Pretty good tag match, good tag team wrestling as always from these two teams. Both teams are damn good tag team wrestlers. The Revival have been in NXT basically. They're only known for being in tag team matches because they're a tag team. They don't really wrestle singles. And I'm happy about that. They're a good team. The victory goes through after the superplex. And then Johnny Gargano after the superplex is hit on him. He falls backwards, roll, grabbed, grabs him in a small package. One, two, three. That's how they won. Tommaso Ciampa, Johnny Gargano win from a superplex. And then it was reversed into a small package for the victory. Pretty good finish. And good tag match to basically end the show almost and then after it uh, uh, the revival are pissed and they attack Ciampa and Johnny they attack them beat them down then out comes the tag team champions American Alpha comes out and makes a save they they start brawling with the revival next week tag title match at takeover it's gonna be damn good tag team wrestling it's gonna be good 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 stuff to watch I enjoyed the main event, at least the final match, I enjoyed it. Now we have the final segment of tonight's NXT. It was the NXT women's contract signing for the women's title match at TakeOver. I need a drink. Contract signing. First out comes nine, or I think they're both in the ring. And William Regal, the general manager, is also in the ring. So Asuka and Nia Jax in the ring, basically face-to-face. -face, a little table's in front of them with the contract. Nia Jax signs it first, gets on the mic and says, I bro You beat Bailey, but I broke Bailey. 
I, I basically broke Bailey, the face of NXT. I broke her and destroyed her. And then Asuka gets on the mic and says, You talk too much. That was pretty funny. And then after that, she signs a contract, and then she gets on the mic again and says a whole bunch of stuff, I believe, in Japanese. I think she's Japanese. Or she's from Japan, some... Anyway, she said a lot of stuff in a different language that I could not understand. I don't speak Japanese, Chinese, or really any language except English. I'm an idiot, because I never learned any other languages. Never really cared to. Anyways, I know a little bit of Spanish, but that's it. So then Asuka, I believe, after she said all that in Japanese, she basically is fearless. Asuka puts the mic down, signs a contract, gets in Ajax's face. And Asuka looked pretty, pretty short, pretty small compared to Nia Jax, but whatever. Asuka's fearless. She's a killer. She's damn, damn good in the ring. She's one of the best women's wrestlers I've seen in probably the last 10, 15 years. Maybe the best I've ever seen. Gal Kim is also very, very good. Um, so, contract signing ends. Nia Jax pushes Asuka. Asuka's pissed. And then she goes up to her, gives a rapid fire, a couple rapid fire punches. And then she tried to kick her in the head, but Nia Jax caught her leg, picks her up, power bombs the champion Asuka. That's how this week's NXT ends. Pretty damn good build up for the NXT championship, good build up for the tag titles. Some build up for Nakamura, Aries, and good build up for the women's title match also so this week's nxt tv i enjoyed it it wasn't great but it was it was good so i'll be doing a nxt takeover the end predictions on um probably sunday on sunday i'll probably do it because the show is wednesday or i might Maybe I'll do it Friday. I don't know. I'll either do NXT TakeOver predictions on Friday or on Sunday. Because the show is Wednesday. I already did my NXT TakeOver The End fantasy booking show. Check that out in my fantasy booking playlist. I did a NXT TakeOver The End fantasy booking show. So check that out in my fantasy booking playlist. Also... If you like any of my videos, tell your friends, if they're wrestling fans, tell your friends to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you like my videos, subscribe to my channel. I don't care if you give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I don't really care if you comment. Just subscribe to my channel, please. I'd appreciate that. Also, if you're on Twitter, follow me on Twitter at guy. Also at guy. By the way, on Wednesday for TakeOver, I will be live tweeting exclusively from at NXTWWEGuy, my other Twitter account. Why? Because that's my NXT account, basically, so I should tweet NXT TakeOvers. I should tweet all TakeOvers from NXTWWEGuy. Hope you enjoyed this NXT June 1st, 2016 review. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter if you would like. I don't need any more followers, but go ahead if you would like. Bye for now, everybody. Have a great Tuesday night. Enjoy your week.